and gentlemen, boys and girls, turn on the bubble team. A new SC in a white. We have a new type of blue. Hey guys, here's to Hollywood. Jim Scott is along with Jim. Eddie is out to the prison circle. So anyway, Jim, what's going on? Nine of bottles of beer on the wall. Nine of bottles of beer. I take one down and break it down. Ninety-eight bottles of beer on the wall. You're welcome. Oh my, oh my god. We're the guys in the car and Lady Cody. We speak on L. Cody Easter. Yeah, you should have seen Cody during her game year, yes, of the Right. Also, a rematch from the Lucha Championship this game will be defending the title against Sai in a return match. That could be fun. Also, attack to this, Worlds will be taking on Team USA. Oh, what, there's a Patriot in front angle? Oh, no, no, no. And the main event, the Asahi, the Asahi, the men's work will be taking on Tucker and Juco in our main event. Okay, you're gonna definitely have to try to do the fuck something with her. Oh, she's the only one the women and women spirits. But we're sneaking out by lunch. Oh, okay. There's something we're finding here, so no, wait a minute. What the hell? I know that music. It's Rosie Rose's champion. What is she doing out here? I don't have her together for a match. Bro, she got to be scared. She's the champ. I get that, but I'm just saying, I didn't expect her to come out here. Not that I'm saying I'm not happy to be here, I'm just saying. Well, she probably has a lot of her mind. I mean, no, she still has sight. Uh, hey, you look like the two of these games right now. Yeah, we don't need all that, man. Hey, don't you find it hilarious that every time we see the latest, everybody's dance music here in the club? I'm telling you, motherfuckers are stepping off ass with this shit when this music comes on. Next, yeah, yeah, I think I see people with glow sticks. Oh, good lord. Glow sticks and glow in the dark later. Reminds me of some of the clubs back in DC that used to play all kind of HDM music and shit like that. Man, this is a big ass crowd in tennis. Dude, this is a big ass thing. Yeah, it is. I mean, Washington is playing no captain and stuff, did they? Shit. Champion has something to say, so let's hear it. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. I know there's a lot of people who's in spine right now, and it's all around one person. She's trying to get back. to their oath on oath when they became the Moonlight Symphony. Victims of an alternate personality that's trying to take control of us. Yeah. But the sad thing, champ, is that the side of we saw before, right? Uh -huh. The side of we're seeing right now, that's how she originally was back during the day. Back during the days of 2009, 2010. Really hard to believe. Oh. So she wants to reunite. Well, champ, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna give you common history. Lucy was on the same side Sonny was back in the day as well. Oh, okay, our answer. Didn't Y2J invent saving people? Yeah, but not that, no, not the same that you're in. 
as she's able to free Sai from the darkness that controlled her. Can she do it again? I don't know. Is right. Wait, what the hell? She disrespected the beer champ. See, that's how you get your ass whooped, yo. As you can see. Bitch. See, this is what happens when you don't respect the alcohol, man. That's what I'm, You're right, though. You respect the alcohol. I'm just saying, you don't disrespect the beer. That's how you get your ass whooped. Yeah, I wonder who the hell was that? That's not the question. Eckers had a lot of, whoever that was had a lot of guts going into Riot's territory like that. Busting the poison Riot's office, you idiot! Look out, look out, look out! Wait a minute! Preemptive strike! It's a trap! Messiah getting in the ring and she's telling the ref, the ref, the only referee's changing that neck chain to start to ring the bell. Yeah. It was the interesting thing about our, about the two the ref. What is that? What is it? Alright, the one interesting thing that Neko Chan does and she's the referee for title matches is that she has a habit of she basically, you know, she kinda of loosens up the rules a little bit. I can see that. If she wants I can see that. Now she wants if to I knock her upside her head upside the head. I'm not man inside the head with her own damn belt and she ain't do shit. No, she's letting you know she lets certain things slide that she you know, she wants a clear winner. No shit, Sherlock. I mean, like I said. Even though the belt is Not only is the referee loosen the rules up now. Yeah, right. I'm just saying. She knocked him side the head with the goddamn belt. That should have been an automatic disqualification. She was just like, eh, I'm just gonna keep counting. Silent pre-ended strike. Sai trying to win back the Oh god! What a spear. Sai trying to win back the regional title that she lost. She lost in a triple threat match of death and rebirth. Ironically, Mandy pins Sai to, to win the belt. If Sai can't go off that kick about not being pinned for a championship. Oh, wait, I, wait, I'm dead wrong. Hold on, my facts are straight street here. Ray was pinned. Sai was out in her out while still standing up. Oh, well then Sai can't be like, you ain't pinned me, I, you can't call yourself a champion, you didn't pin me. Oh, just trying to here. Oh, yeah. Man, he's definitely struggling, but I mean, when you get jumped from behind out of nowhere, when you make your entrance, yeah, of course, you're going to struggle. And then getting smacked in the face with the title belt. <laughs> that doesn't help matters either. Yes. Or I, I, I think Mandy's probably still out of it. Yes, she should. Oh, wait, there we go. Never mind. How about I say, she should have been qualified. I'm just saying. Who hired this woman? Believe it or not, it, believe it or not, champ, people already are people are starting to like this ref already. Oh. <laughs> Full Nelson blocking. Well, I don't know if she has the level stuff. Nope. Put the fingers. You need to have the fingers completely blocked. The Mandy now starting to get back into the feel of it, into the way, into the way of things. Yeah, I think she might have shook the cobwebs a little bit in order and starting to fire up on fire. Still, the you know, Defiance is coming soon. We already have the main event announced. And I gotta tell you this, we already have the second one announced already. Okay. This is what happened last week, la last time. I, I was told earlier that Lightning and Inky will be going at it at the finals as well. Oh, there you go. So, so far we got two matches that we're confirmed right now. 
Remind the people of one of those matches again for those who haven't been watching for a while. Alright guys, so right now for the fight, as of right now, Inca and Lightning will be fighting at the CBD, and the main event will be Yana's ultimate test. She will be defending both the television title and the Queen of Roses. The first fall for the television championship under Fatal 4 Way rules, and again for the Queen of Roses under TLC rules. Yeah, I mean, Fiona's definitely up against it. And then, but also, let's not forget that the CFW are trying to get in the tag team title hunt. And if that happens, they'll have, she'll have, they'll have, she'll have to defend the tag team titles. Let me pull a pickle booty that night, man. I don't know. I've, I've got a lot of respect for Fiona. Damn, another spear. But I don't know if she'll walk out of there as a Triple Crown champion if that comes to pass. Yeah, I know. A lot of people think Fiona won't be able to do it. I mean, hell, if, if I can make any kind of... Re oh, God! Messiah, the master of the spear. If she hits that top rope spear, she's going to be regional champion again. There she goes. Oh, there she is. Is it going to get it? Oh, my God. Yeah, that, that's it. There's no way. Wait a minute. Oh, God. She kicked out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't even think Sai herself can believe it. What do Sai's got to do? She can't get frustrated. She can't, you know, lose her focus. Hey, man. Sai did some underhanded shit. It's only fair Mandy can do the same thing. I'll tell you something, like I said. Sai is in that... Unfamiliar role. She hasn't been in that role in a while, being the challenger, and having to beat the champion to become champion. And I'm dropping you. That's one fist. Two fists. Three for good measure. You see the right of the balcony? No, who? You're trying to choke Sia. And he's literally strangling the, cha the, the, the challenger, literally to death, trying to make Sia submit. Yeah, like I said, Sia's in that, that position where, you know, she's got to be Manny. Manny doesn't have to be Sire. That's the beauty of the champ what's called the championship at Fantasy. Oh, wait it, wait it. Victory roll. One, two. Oh you got Wow. Unbelievable we have a new champion. Oh, it's like about getting it and then wait taking it back. Damn. I know Manny was definitely not expecting that to happen. Somebody just sneezed. Somebody just sneezed in the front row. That sneeze lasted longer than Manny's power reign as, win as regional champion. Sheesh. And Sai just milked Manny. See the highlights. See right here. She went for that top row. Top row. She went for that top row spear after hitting about three spears from the ground. Yeah, we literally saw the wind literally knock out of Mandy from that one. And here's where Sia literally stuck in a victory roll for out of nowhere. Look at the leverage though. You see she extended her left leg to try to get more leverage, and that was enough to get the three count. And there she is, once again, the regional champion. Let me try something, champ. I think Mandy was going to try to go for the right of the Valkyrie. And Sia literally took control of the momentum, reversing it right into the victory roll. I wasn't super short as I thought it would be. At least it wasn't needed again. I think it's shit more than that title, man. I'm just saying. Wait, wait. Oh my. It's like, who is right? I found those people. Who the hell are those people? Who, who the hell are these people? What the hell? I don't know. But they're... One of them, that girl, that one with the mask, who ran up right to their turf. Now we got an all out of fight here. I have no idea. Who the hell is this big looking one? I know, right? That's a big bitch. No offense to anyone who's like that. 
Really? Right. Yeah, so we're always right. Having uh, like <laughs> literally, in a lot of, there's a lot of fight, a lot of gang war in the back. Well, the former tag team champions having to fight these two unknown women. Hey, people. I'll tell you one thing, you gotta, you gotta have a lot of guts trying to go after these two. Hey, what do we get? New production people for this this season? They didn't even tell us something. Hey, production people, who the fuck are these people? I have no idea. Who knows? Maybe they came from. Maybe they came from. They entered the arena unauthorized or something. I don't know. Yeah. Or maybe like Osher hired even more people, and we don't know who most of them are. Where the fuck is security? I'm just saying. Well, security got Dean Ambrose. So. Yeah, yeah. Security was noped. And, you know, when security gets a note, you know, they're not coming. I gotta admit, though, they've been holding their own against these two unknowns. Well, I mean, again, they're former tag team champions. Of course they're gonna hold their own, but still. This is an all-out friggin' war. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Survival. There's our. We had to get our fleet. <laughs> Mid section. Hmm. They're just fighting. They're just fighting for free, basically. They're not in the ring. They're not in the match. They're just beating the hell out of each other. You know, Poison Ryan, you know, they, they, they mainly take most of their fights out in the streets anyway. Yeah, which is crazy. You know, they play by their own rules. Dangerous as a team as they are in one on one. And now they're actually trying to two on one now. Poison making sure she's like, nope, that ain't happening. Right. You know, you think you have my friend like that. I think these women, these two women are just gonna beat the fuck out of each other too. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh my lord. No. Oh, right, Bob, right on the concrete floor. Yeah, she's out of it. That's one down. <laughs> Ooh, right in the boys. We started an all out game war. Except it's not with multiple people. Right. Well, now she's got to hold the rail. Oh, boy, she's just saved her. Oh, what? I think she tried to do something with boy. She poisons like hell, though. Hey, don't, don't, don't break the soda machine now. Oh wait, why, am I, why do I care about the soda machine? We got sodas up here. Up here, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, there goes poison. Did you see that? The back of poison's head driven first into the concrete. Yeah, that hat didn't protect her much. I was gonna say, don't break the, the, the sewing machine. I might need a chaser for later, but I thought about it. I don't need no goddamn chaser. Dude, you have like a mountain of alcohol beer water here up here in the skybox. The hell are you worried about the soda machine? Right. That's why I was like, never mind. I mean hell, I gotta be the designated driver to drive your ass back to the motel. You're welcome. I know by the time the show's over, you're gonna be a drunken mess by the time the show's over, I guarantee it. And then oh my god, then I know how you're gonna be like during the after party. <laughs> Yeah, take it easy with that drink, dude. I know we got our pain triple, but come on. Hey, what do the kids say nowadays? YOLO? Oh, God. <laughs> and oh, God. Oh. There it is again. Like, this is insane. These two just laid out Poison and Riot. We need vials on these two, like something. Who the hell are these two? They just laid out the former tag team champion.
Yeah, we got fighting friggin' everywhere now. What the hell's next? Are we gonna see monkeys just swinging from the top of the building? Maybe, I don't know. Fuck. I know, well, whoever they are, they're gone now. Alright, so anyway. The DJ's the door! Yeah. Well, of course, you cannot. You know, the DC, you know, LPDs are DJ Blue during the previews, during the season sneak peeks that have been going on before Death and Rebirth. Hey, do you remember the crazy next game for PWS? Yeah, I remember that motherfucker. And he trained her. Well, that's funny. He was trained by former SCU and Lumina. That's funny. Hey, I guess it's bad. And she just got me. <laughs> I can't believe this shit. Are you serious right now? Yeah, I'm dead serious. Come on, dog. I'm not drunk enough for this shit. Shit just got real. Oh my god. I feel like breaking out the chair. Really? I do. I don't give a shit. It'll be a bonus. Here's Letty Cody. Fight. Formerly from Fighting Teams. Fight. Oh, no, the gold. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh shit. Dude, that's hilarious. <laughs> Let it tell you had an impressive showing champ at uh, Death and Rebirth. What was so funny about it was it looked like her opponent was beating the shit out of her, right? But in reality, she was just playing around. And then when she got serious, then it was over in like four moves. Why so serious? No, I'm not even gonna lie. I totally marked out when she made her entry. <laughs> that was awful. Hey, Gen Z. Oh! Wow. The power. Pure, unadulterated power. And she's not even a big person either. I mean... She's not as tall as, you know, this MF. I mean... It doesn't mean, you know, not having a height doesn't mean you can't be powerful. She's probably got the power, like, she's, she's like, got hidden strength. That makes sense. It's tapping into the strength within. They got Spine Buster. So he's gonna have to rely on technique and quickness if she wants to try to defeat Letty Cody in this match. So spinning heel kick. Cody's like, nope. Nope. Trying to drop that elbow right into the spine. You know, she got out of the way. Yeah, uh, the pizza door is gonna start flying around and shit. That's actually what she might have to do if she wants to survive this match. Let me ask you, what's your take on Letty Cody as of right now, from what you've seen? I'm impressed. I mean, she, like I said, she's got that hidden, she's deceptively strong, and she's straight ahead, she's a straight ahead fighter. But the problem with being a straight ahead fighter is when you go up against somebody who's either technically sound, or who's like a luchador, like El Conquistador, being straight ahead could could definitely cost you matches. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a, there was a lot of power behind that one. And it's good to be a very straight ahead, you know, wrestler, because you know, you don't, you don't, you're not going to back down, you just going to give it everything you have. But again, when you deal with, when you deal with somebody who can move around the ring, who's quick, 
Being straight ahead can definitely be a disadvantage. So far, Lady Cody ain't letting that pass her by. Yeah, it is. Well, it is just dropping, putting the knee on the back as she's doing the camel clutch. Also, yeah, let's not forget the type of ring that they're wrestling in right now. Yeah. Oh man. That, that kind of <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you kind of. I'm surprised you noticed it. Yeah. Well, I'm sitting here drinking. We walk on. Yeah, that ain't no ordinary ring, dude. That ring's made of metal. Yeah, that's. Yeah. It could be worse. Imagine a concrete uh, ring. Or they could be wrestling in, on just a mat with no ropes like a Hall of Famer did way back when in an indie show. <laughs> that would have been awesome. It happened. Was it a regular match or submission? It was a regular match. <clears throat> Nikolai Volkov. Uh, I can picture it being Irish with like Nick, Nikolai Volkov was in a, some kind of indie show and the dude, the promoter I guess was so, I don't know what the fuck. They were wrestling on a regular wrestling mat. Oh, God. oh man, she almost beat Lady Cody right there. Yeah, that was close. No, I'm serious, that happened. I'll tell you about it later at the <clears throat> bar if I remember. I'll see if I can try to find out on YouTube. Yeah. I don't know if it's on YouTube. It, ha it, it, was, it was, well, it might be on YouTube. I don't know. She had an admission hold. Couldn't hold off it. Yeah, trying to using something off the honest play. Oh man. Right to the outside. Woo! Oh, she rolled out of the way. Okay. And that's the downfall of being a luchador who goes who does those high risk maneuvers. It's always risk reward. The reward is awesome, but the risk can be deadly. And Tisa is paying for it right now. Another champ is a 20 count. They got all the time in the world to get back in the ring. But most people were wondering who are new to SCA. First off, what took you so long to find this? I mean, seriously. But yeah, there you guys talk, under rock. In real talk, welcome to SCA. Number two, with SCA. It's a 20 count for count out instead of 10 count. Oh wait, what? Oh wait a minute. I'm serious. A jackhammer right on the floor. <laughs> Why am I not surprised you did that shit? Yo, for real, I really thought she was going to do it on a date. Well, I'm just not surprised that she did a jackhammer for Christ's sake. What? What do you mean? Dude, her entrance music and her entrance. Come on. Come on. Anyway. Maybe that's just me. Maybe. Could have trying to go for something. Keys are literally stopping you with kicks to the hamstring. I think she's about to go for that backhammer again. There she is. There it is. Yep. Two, three. See ya. They probably had enough playing around and decided to put it away. Betty Cody with the big victory. That's two down. Who's next? I'm sorry. I had to do it. <laughs> Uh, dude, I wouldn't be surprised if Lady Cody grabbed the mic and just said that <laughs> and walked away. I'm telling you, you keep this up, it's going to be a chance. Lady, Lady, Lady. I'm telling you, what happened? Yeah, I'm waiting for that, that for the day that happens. I'm calling for it right now. Mark, you kept, mark, mark the time and the day that you're watching this. I call it that pretty soon. Lady's going to have the same chance as Goldberg. And she's probably going to have a safe undefeated streak, too. I'm calling it right now. Letty Cohen is going to be the next Queen of Roses champion. She's going to be the first undefeated Queen of Roses champion. You're welcome.
Man, talk about trying to predate the future. Hey, I'm just saying. The size of like look, the writing's on the goddamn wall. Now I may be drunk. Well, I'm not quite drunk, but I'm getting there. But I'm just saying. Yeah, then again, the future is never set in stone, so pretty much anything can happen. Hell, she might lose at the next. She might lose at the next show, and then I'll, I'll look like an idiot. Then again, we're not gonna know. Exactly. We'll have to find out and see how this goes down the road. Yeah. But there's the jackhammer. There's the victory. Kid is literally chanting Letty in his head. <laughs> he won't sing it out loud. That's because I'm about to take it out of the head. Look how much Bacardi have you drunk so far? At the bottom. Jesus! Well, there's your winner, though. What the fuck is she talking to? No idea. Somebody snapped their spine like shit. Okay. Whatever the fuck that was all about. <laughs> Same here. A tag team match time! Yes. The former tag team champions. Looking to try to get themselves back into the tag team title picture. Doing a pre-war dance. What the fuck? I don't know. Oh! The flames! Oh, bro. Boy, you and my cockroach. Now to the master of the lariat. Yeah, I want to see her lariat. I want to see her hit a lariat tonight. Or she made new versions of it today. Oh wow. Now I'm, I really can't wait. wait. We'll see people take clothes lines. Everyone will get one. Okay, for some reason, why do I feel like we took a trip into the time machine again? I don't know. Get the fuck out of here! What's wrong? Look at these two. Yo, tell me about these two. The USA. Okay. One of the masks, that's the USA. She was the fighting trainers. Okay. Alright. The other one, oh god, went to the time, they went to the time machine again. That's Americana from Glow. Oh, good lord. She was the face of that company. Well, same USA in the house. I get so much nostalgia in hearing this music. I know, right? The Patriot. I actually watched the I actually watched the episode of Raw when that he first used that theme. It was July the twenty eighth. I think it was the July twenty eighth edition of Raw in nineteen ninety seven. We faced Bret Hart right before SummerSlam, and he beat Bret Hart thanks to Shawn Michaels. Oh wow! Well, you know, I actually met the Patriot. Del Will. Actually, I actually yeah, I actually met the Patriot uh, at Doink the Clown's memorial show. How's that if you guys want to see that, that's on my uh, on my YouTube channel. How's he doing? Last I heard, that band was getting over a drug problem. 
No, he was actually in pretty pretty good shape. He actually had a match on the card. Okay, good. He's actually a nice guy. Yeah, that's, I heard. That's what, he was out of wrestling for a while because he had drug and alcohol problems. No, I actually saw this dude in a match. Cool. I, he still got it. I like Del Wilkes. He was good. I just wish that drugs and alcohol didn't fuck up his career. Uh, yeah, you know what they say, Jeff. You know, those are the demons of the business. Yeah. A lot of the old school guys are suffering from those kind of problems. But we're in it now, and you see Team USA trying to get the, the best the world's ruined, the former tag champs. Yeah, man, I... You know, Jeff, I'll, I'll never forget the day back when these two first debuted. They had their... They had a, their, for their debut was they challenged three consecutive teams to prove their, their legitimacy for a shot at tagging titles. Oh. They beat three teams in one match. Yeah, I mean, like I said, they're former tag champions. They're a very well-known tag team. Very, very cohesive. Yep, Mojo also a former SCA Women's Champion. Now Americana then. Americana straight from the 1980s. I'm wondering if they if they use that time machine to get anybody else that's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I admit, man, that time machine, we've been finding some interesting people <laughs> through history being brought in here. Yeah. German! Yeah, no shit. That's crazy. Tim, if you had that time machine, who would you bring? Huh. I know you got some some crazy shit up your sleeve. Who would you pick if you were actually if they let you use the time machine? Hmm. I actually have to think about that. Cause I don't know. There's a lot of maybe a lot of people I would want to bring forward. I don't know. I I, I gotta think about. That. I got. Right, so far, Americana holding her own against Moe right now. Americana up the top rope. You have to drop that fist. Oh, no. Moe able to get out of the way. And, oh, man, with a big lariat. I guess she doesn't know. I guess, Mo I guess her partner's not the only one who could do lariat, eh? Yeah, probably not as powerful as the ones that Mokaka could do. Look at this. And now here we go. Rebound reverse suplex. That was a wow. beautiful double team move by the by the tech, former tag champions, World Ruin. Cock is in the ring. We could be seeing Larry anywhere at any moment. Oh man, did you just see that? She used her entire body as a weapon. Mira kind of just ran, just bumped right into a brick wall. Yeah, I bet that's. Oh my god! I bet that's how it feels when she gets hit with that Larry. It feels like getting hit by a brick wall. Fuck. She just got. She literally got murdered, death, killed by one, and then Mira kind of gets back up. Americana is just way too fresh right now to be put away. Americana's going to have to make that tag. She's being distracted by Moyu outside the ring. You see them fighting right outside the ring. Yeah, this, this tag match is slightly breaking down. Referee needs to get gain some control here. Come on, referee. Yeah, get, some, get some control over here. What the fuck are you doing? Out just grabbing America, the USA, just throwing her right back, suplexing her in the ring. USA is the legal woman in this match. USA and Americana, Team USA, looking to make their way and solidify their spot as a top tag team in a very, very deep tag team division here in SCA. <clears throat> yeah, you're talking about a tag team division. This is the biggest tag team division in SCA history. I mean, hell, there's still a lot of people in the roster who we haven't seen yet. There could be even more teams yep. than the ones we met and the ones we know. That's amazing. We have a probably bigger tag we probably have big tag teams that equal to the amount that are in Japan. Can you believe that? That is that's that's insane. I said I said it uh I said it before, this tag team division is by the deepest hotness. I had a feeling that was gonna go there sooner. You're welcome. I said, if they're not going to actually make an appearance on the show, I'm still going to do a Brazzers show. Drawing an elbow right into the back. 
Oh, what a big boot to the face! Andy! Don't you get clapping in the back of the slant you're playing on that metal neck! Andy, face! Champ, nothing's worse. I mean, the back of your head being slammed repeatedly in the metal back. No, oh, American slam! Wow. I swear to God, if I see an ankle lock, I quit. Why would you quit because of an ankle lock? Think about it. You know, the ankle lock's a universal move. And everyone's been doing it way before Kurt Angle did. But you gotta think about it. Kurt Angle did remember, it. Ankle lock did originate from Ken Shamrock. Remember that. that. But you gotta remember, Kurt Ken, Ken, Ken Angle did it, and then Jack, Jack Plagger did it, with, especially when he was with the real American. We the people! Hey, I actually like that catchphrase. Shit. Put your hand over your heart and with a loud, forceful voice, say it with me. We the people! You know, uh, the, the real Americans would go well with that one side mission in Grand Theft Auto Fox. I'll show you it later. <laughs> the one where Trevor has to help these guys take out illegals. Oh my god! There, there's the mission, there's the thing where you can actually go, we the people, <laughs> we're gonna make America pure. Oh my god, that's, man, that's so racist, but so funny. No disrespect to all my folks that are out there that are in this country legally, I'm just saying. Yeah, and the hilarious thing is the one guy who was doing it was, was from Europe. <laughs> See, that's that thing. <laughs> I think we should crash trade on the back. Man, Okada just, man, Okada just bought us through America on the top rope, buying Moody some time to try to recover here. Moody finally shaking the cobwebs out. Yeah, Moody needs to make a tag. Yeah, right now, Americana's in the driver's seat. We're just getting all right up in Moody's face. We got her up. Oh god, how old school can we be? This is old as shit, the airplane spin. Days, the Americana got up her sleeve. Oh, oh, uh oh, well, nope. Red breaker. Let me see USA going after Mo uh, Mokaku. Boy, you need to make a tag instead of standing around and shit. I think she's gonna end it right now. Right over that double arm DDT. Nope. Here comes the USA! Here we go! The power of America! America. Big boot! Oh wow! There were four! Shades of Lex Luger! DDT! One! Two! No! No, Moody kicks out! That is the will of the former tag team champions. Wait a minute, and again! Another DDT! No, and Mokaku, <laughs> not only double axe and will be USA, but double axe and the referee! Poor ref. Referee always getting in the way. If Moy's not careful and doesn't make a tag, she's gonna mess around and get knocked out because she's taking too many blows to her head. And she's still not going for the tag. Man, the USA just knocked Okaku out the ring. There we go. Now she made it tag. There we go. But they got on their minds now. Oh, double gut buster. Oh, God, there it is. Hilarious. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Uh... Oh, no. She's measuring her up. You mother fucker! Jesus! That was a huge lariat. One, 
two. Oh, forget about it. There you. The USA got clotheslined the next week. Maybe next month. The Larry and Barry Burke. <laughs> Even America falls to the Larry. Hey, let's see the uh, highlights here. Team USA definitely will take control. Look at this double team maneuver here. There's a big boot. Almost knocks him a little his teeth out in that big forearm. Yeah, I mean, they was like Moyu was so close to the little like she was gonna be the one that gets taken out of this match. But she helped up. Here's when things got when they even the odds. Yeah, see that double team again because it was that small. Yep. And then here came one Larry here. Bam! And here and she was measuring the USA up. And Oh! Blue's lighter inside out. Not many people can survive any mo most of Mokaku's lariats. Right, and she sure enough did not. Well, Roy getting the victory. The CFW might have a little bit of extra competition try as they're trying to get their shot at the tag team titles. There. That tag team division has gotten ultra competitive. But the world Brewers, who have been in here, been here for a long time, they're looking to make their claim for the tag title. Yeah, but like I said, champ, I got a feeling the CFW might have more competition as they're trying to get their legitimacy at the shot at the belts. Look who it is. Rebellion deal has been doing this open challenge to any tech-based or Emmett or grappler-based wrestlers. Yeah, yeah, she was successful in her match at Rebellion, but then I said, I said, you need to be careful because you might get it going to get somebody who's looking to prove themselves that might make her inner work. Yeah. Yeah. Too much even for her to handle. Well, here she tell you, I'm, I'm assuming that that's why she's out here. She wants to make another one of those challenges. Who is next on this list? I mean, there's a lot of techies and grapple the wrestlers. Like I said, it's going to be a long wait for her to be at the level of that Yomo and Black Belt Demon, right? Alright. Oh, there's a double team maneuver here. circumstances that Osher had been doing, there's a lot more people in this roster right now. So who knows? There could be a, there's a lot of, we got a lot of different styles of wrestling. Yeah, she wants to, she just asked, she wants to pee from me, so she's going to step up to the challenge. I know who this is. She was in the last week. she me. So I'm assuming you're gonna tell me something about her. She was also in the same company as some of you guys, right? The women in Roman Spirits, Wars Production. Hey. You're talking about tech you're talking about technical wrestling? She's as technical as you can be. Well, she looks like she's ready to go. Like I said, she's run she's going to have to try to pull the challenge to Camila. Here we go, just like before, under Dragon Heat rules. Two 10 minute rounds, no exiting the ring, only one by submission or by knockout. Mm -hmm. 
that Mila won in a first round submission. I'm wondering how what will happen what will happen if Mila actually actually has one of these matches going to a second round. And she has the stamina to keep it going. That's a good question. Mila has a very strong submission set member. She does she did fact she is an amateur when it comes to MMA. So she does have a lot of MMA training. Which is why she always goes for like for the front team. Remember, Chance, she can cash with the guillotine at any point. Big Tiger Bomb. Man, you're wrestling with the Tiger Bomb, man. Look at this. Sharpshooter. I need the Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter made famous by Bret Hart, and the Hall of Famer, and the late, great Owen Hart. Also used, as also used, known as the Scorpion Deathlock by Sting. Or the bastardized one by Brock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who well, your ankle? Huh? Yep. Even though, champ, you and I both know there have been a bunch of people who have done the ankle lock. Or any of the people we mentioned earlier. Yeah, but like I said, I just would have I just would have lost my shit if it would have been done by somebody from Team USA. Just thinking about who's the two main people that did it before them, way like after them, and stuff like that. <laughs> just saying. You that was in control for the most part. Look at this. One after her arm. Maybe she's thinking about doing an arm type submission to come forth. This Minami returning the favor! Hey, talk about an eye for an eye. Single so body scissors. Trying to wear to Minami out a little bit. Trying to soften her up. Trying to soften her up for that guillotine. Yep, just for those who are just joining us, you have to win by either submission or knockout. No pinfall. The banana kind of ice. Okay. We will start to link one move and go right into submission. Trying to use some tactics that she used against the Black Bagheen. Up during her, in her first match. See, I probably want to bet that Mila is doing this challenge because of what happened in her match with the Black Belt Demon at the start of it. I would think so. I mean, maybe she just, she didn't feel that she was up to standards when it came to being a good grappler slash technical wrestler. And so she's trying to test that out by going against some of the best grapplers and or technical wrestlers in the company. Mila fighting, she has something to prove. She's blocking a submission right now. Me right into the lower back as the camel, as the camel clutch applied. Now immediately just got locked in the abdominal stretch. This is champ style aggressive. Domino stretch, very simple but effective submission hold. Working on the abdominal area along with the back. You know how you and guys like you, me, and other people can appreciate like the old school style? Yeah. And you know, most people, you know, don't really respect the old school? Well, they're idiots, that's why. Mila putting pressure on the abdomen, on the midsection. Putting a, lot of putting a lot of pressure on the ribs, on the stomach. I mean, Mila's showing that she's not going to just target one limb. She's going to target multiple limbs and then make it a point that 
any one submission on any one of those limbs is going to hurt so much that you're going to tap. Oh, knee right to the midsection. Another knee right in the midsection. And a Russian leg sweep. Nice fall. Immediately going right back on the arm. Big running knee. Another running knee. Three knees. Yeah. Miller using that MMA style of those punches and knees. It's and I just dropping a double axe handle. He just got crowned. Oh wait, look at this! That was a vicious STF. I don't know how Mila was able to get out of it. I don't think Minotti had the fingers properly locked in. Right. Me! Me! Back here! There's the STF. Mila's MMA rush. Let me Thought she was really thought she was gonna get the knockout right there, but what are you saying? She can still continue. Nearly seven minutes have gone by in this first round. She now means way too close to her forcing a uh, break. Oh, what a drop to the knee! Again, you know she's going after another limb. She went after her arm, she's going after her abdomen, now going after her leg. Trying to go after the arm. Oh, bar! Yeah, he's not here, so Chad has to take uh, Eddie's place to sing it. Yeah. No way, There it is. There's the DD jump. And now he's in the middle of the ring. He's, in he's got nowhere to go. He can't really move anywhere like this. She's out. She's out. Let's go. Got the man. Seven minutes and 39 seconds in the first round, and Mila gets another victory. Yeah, look, who can go, who can make pressure Mila to go into round two? Huh, I think you named two of them or when she made her entrance. Ryomo and the Black Belt Demon. So this was a, still another impressive performance by Mila. So our that's two people she's beat. Yep. Means this giant, the challenger to the dragon, he rules continues. I mean, Mila's showing, that's showing me something, that's two in a row. But again, I gotta wonder, is she gonna fight off more than she can chew? That's a good question. Is that something, Champ, we're gonna have to see as time passes? to challenge me. I have no idea. Envy. And Riomo.
Oh my God! The HWO is back, champ. Oh my God! I never thought I would see the day that the HWO would return. Jesus Christ! Shit just got real for Oscar right now. I think Oscar fucked. I think Krieger is six. Yes. Sapphire Pilot had that unknown and actually forgetting the list for expressions behind that mask. Here goes Sapphire's mentor. Misaki Toyota. Okay, so what do I know? What am I supposed to know about this shit here? Okay, I'm going to back here. This is a fat ass. Okay, alright, like I said before, Herman Sa Herman Sager from Rebellion. Yeah. The main event against Nochka, yeah. that's her mentor. Okay. That's her mentor. She was the champion of their promotion Berserk before Oscar took over their company. After Nochka comes up. Thunder Yuko was in fighting gear, and she was the one who was head of Women in Roman Spirits. Okay. I can look there, I summed it up for you. Okay, she looks like both of this one right here like she's all fucking different. Yeah. Dude, I'm gonna bet that most of these people were challenged by Sapphire. The Sapphire beat them. And they were forced to surrender their numbers. I wouldn't be surprised. Can you imagine if that would have been the case? I would not be surprised at all. Well, the fact is, most of these people should be lucky they're in a lot. The Sapphire could have killed them if she wanted to. Can you admit, if there's anybody to beat, it would have to be Sapphire. Yeah, Sapphire is a dangerous woman. Or a dangerous thing, whatever the hell it is. Nah, it's a human. We see what was behind that mask of revelation. And ironically, that's, that's Krieger's right hand. <clears throat> I got to tell you, you, you've never seen these two wrestle before. You're going to be in for a mm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You know, if you, you know, you never saw Fighting Jerks, so you've never seen Nico in action. You go, you know, very, very impressive, very dangerous. Saki was one of the champions in Bizarre, one of the four, one of the world champions. She was able to get Sakura out of her giant losing streak, made her into a better wrestler, older. That feeling out process. Yeah, they're they're very very careful. Look at the gear team. Yuko thought she was going to go into another, into a side headlock, tricked her right into the guillotine. <laughs> Dropping the knee leg. Oh yeah, this is going to feel an outcast. It's like David Sutton said out enough. Okay, why not the feeling when you say that it's going both ways? Yeah. I, sometimes I can't help but think that every time you mention a certain thing, there's a double meaning behind it. You're welcome. How, why do I get this strange feeling that was right? Because you know, that's what I'm about almost finished with this bottle with the party, so yeah. Oh man, what a elbow right to the back. Yeah, that's not going to make her days go very well. Oh, you were so lucky. That was in your roots. Yeah, that was a bad thing to do. Yeah, you know, well, yeah, they were too close to the ropes to begin with. DDT on the neck. I do with that DDT. In the knee. The knee will always be respected. Get back in the road, guys. Going right back into a tie position. We're going to try to get the better of them. Ryu gets the better of it. 
I know she is trolling the socket right now. Yeah. So the combination is now throwing her into the corner. Top, she's got in mind. No wait, it's not like with the reversal. That was a nice line, leg lariat. Smart ran into a single leg. Oh, for her life. Very impressive, these are two very impressive athletes. I probably was unable to keep the grip on the leg and they were probably fighting it off. So the uh, tornado DDT going to recover. One, two, no. She has a mind here. Top of she got in mind here. What yeah. is this? He gave her a freaking he gave her a freaking lariat to the outside. That was amazing. Where are you going even in the odds? You have freaking drilled her into the into the into the floor. Hey, Patty leaves it to me. That's straight. That's straight floor. Man, tried to decapitate her with that leg drop on the apron. Decapitation. Here we go. Lord of Lights. Then one, two. Near falls in this match. Saki, a little bit of trouble. One, two, no. A good old fashioned humbly. Camel plant. Saki calling for light to the courts of the ropes. Do you have any idea the kind of pressure on your back if you're trying to crawl for your life to those ropes? Yeah, I mean, the pressure on the back and everything like that is not very good when you're in the camel truck and then trying to get to the ropes. So we'll leave the ropes for bare. Oh, this ain't gonna help matters. Eddie's favorite move. Arm The Nasagi special! Oh my! Out of nowhere, with the Nasagi special, Rico did not see that coming. One, two, three! That's it. Big man. Now let's see the highlights. There's a big lariat off the top rope to the outside. It was definitely a back and forth matchup here between these two athletes, these two wonderful athletes trying to make a name for themselves in the SBA. This Northern Light -like Suplex with the bridge. You very rarely see that nowadays. Yeah, tell me about it. Saki barely escaped the camel clutch, but then got what's left wide open to the armbar. And out of nowhere was this, the Misaki special. Ooh. We got all of that one too. And Rico is charging at Misaki. Misaki immediately just turned and blocked the shot, turned her around, gave her a 
And for the cover, there's one, the two, the three. A good main event victory for the shot. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we are running out of time. Here's to the Hollywood Jewish Models along with Champ. And hopefully Eddie will join us for Rebellion. So see you guys next time. Hello.